Turning now to Afghanistan, the countdown to end the American combat mission there is underway. U.S. and NATO forces begin the train, advise and assist mission known as Resolute Support on January 1st. DOD News reporter Gail McCabe has the latest on the transition reporting from Afghanistan. In the last year, the number of coalition and U.S. forces in Afghanistan has decreased by more than 30,000 with more on the way. Forward operating bases, combat outposts, installations of various sizes and composition are going away. Here in Bagram, places like Coalition Village, Camp Avenger, Infantry Village, Hotel California, they are now just memories. Keep up the good work. Lieutenant General Joe Anderson calls it an education. Okay, sir. It teaches you a lot of patience. You're always learning different ways how to deal with things, and every day is an education of some kind about something, uh, about either some part of what our coalition does or doesn't do, or what our partners do or don't do. The goal by the end of the year is to bring coalition forces down to just over 12,000. They'll become the core of the Resolute Support Mission, aimed at train, advise, and assist to the Afghan National Security Forces. And while the ANSF today is better than it was, there are still challenges. Strategies, threat assessments, policies, campaign assessments, you know, planning, programming, budgeting, execution, contracts, human resource systems, payrolls. The issues that need to be faced and overcome, he says, are in part capability, but another decisive factor is culture. It gets political, it gets cultural, it gets tribal, it gets personal, it gets everything. And how you're impacted by things like what the Taliban, for example, has done or not done to you, and how you react to that based on what your family's investment has been. Officially, the year ends with the close of Operation Enduring Freedom and the International Security Assistance Force. The countdown, according to Anderson, is well underway. Gil McCabe, Afghanistan.